It's 10 trivia questions on British cuisine for Patreon subscriber Chris Arneson. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and today's episode's theme of British cuisine. Maybe you're listening from the UK. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate you. And I have some fun, free stuff to send some UK listeners specifically. If you are a UK listener and you've listened to this episode and you've listened to this intro, email ryanbuds at gmail.com with the subject line British listener in all caps, and I will send you some fun swag in the mail. I've got some international stamps that I will put on an envelope just for you. Email ryanbuds at gmail.com, R-Y-A-N-B-U-D-D-S at gmail with the subject line, British listener. Tell me where you're listening from in the email and give me your full mailing address and you'll get some cool stuff from me in the mail. If you want more cool stuff for me in the mail, join the Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds linked in all the show notes for easy clicking. Today's episode, British cuisine. But before we get there, we've got the warm-up letter of D, as in uh, dugout. And we have things you store items in, electronic gadgets, and things you shout. Things you store items in, electronic gadgets, and things you shout. Listen for my three D answers at the end of the episode, along with a fun fact of the day. And just like that, we're all warmed up, we're ready, and we're diving into British cuisine trivia. Here we go. It's British cuisine trivia. Question number one. In 1912, what was carrying, among other things, 16,000 lemons, 40 tons of potatoes, 15,000 gallons of milk, 2,500 pounds of sausages, and about 2,200 people. Number one, in 1912, what was carrying, among other things, 16,000 lemons, 40 tons of potatoes, 1,500 gallons of milk, 2,500 pounds of sausage, and about 2,200 people? Number one. Question number two, the UK's oldest recorded cheese gets a mention in the Doomsday Book. It is cheddar, is it, sorry, cheddar, Stilton, Lancashire, or Cheshire? Number two, the UK's oldest recorded cheese gets a mention in the Doomsday Book. Is it cheddar, Stilton, Lancashire, or Cheshire? Question number three, what fruit gave its name to the Beatles record label? What fruit gave its name to the Beatles record label? Question number four, in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what was Charlie's surname? In Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what was Charlie's surname? Number five, what fruit did Little Jack Horner pull from his pie? in the famous nursery rhyme. What fruit did little Jack Horner pull from his pie in the famous nursery rhyme? Number six, what businesses use 10% of the UK's potato crop? What businesses use 10% of the UK's potato crop? Number seven, what fish is featured in the Scottish dish called Arboreth Smoky? Number seven, what fish is featured in the Scottish dish called an Arboreth Smoky? Number eight, Melton Mowbray is famous for what kind of pies? Melton Mowbray is a fam- is famous for what kind of pies? Number nine, which 16th century British navigator first brought turkeys to England? Which 16th century British navigator first brought turkeys to England? Number 10, what are bangers in British cuisine? What are bangers in British cuisine? And number 11 to close out, an Oliver Twist. What vegetable are the orphan boys given twice a week as sustenance? What vegetable are the orphan boys given twice a week as sustenance? 
Those are all your questions on British cuisine. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to British cuisine. Let's see how you did. Number one, in 1912, it was carrying, among other things, 16,000 lemons, 40 gallons, uh, 40 tons of potatoes, 1,500 gallons of milk, 2,500 pounds of sausage, and 2,200 people. That was the Titanic. Titanic. Number two, the UK's oldest recorded cheese, Cheshire. Cheshire, like the cat. Number three, what fruit gave its name to the Beatles record label? Apple. Apple Records. Number four, in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it was Charlie's surname. It is Bucket. Charlie Bucket. Number five, what fruit did Little Jack Horner pull from his pie? A plum. A plum. Number six, which businesses use 10% of UK's potato crop? That would be fish and chip shops. Not shops, but bars, restaurants, pubs that sell fish and chips. Uh, 10% of the UK's potato crop goes to those uh, chips. Number seven, what fish is featured in the Scottish dish called Arbereth Smoky? That would be haddock. Haddock. Number eight, Melton Mulberry is famous for what kind of pies? Pork pies, pork pies. Number nine, which 16th century British navigator first brought turkeys to England? That was William Strickland, William Strickland. Number 10, what are bangers in British cuisine? Sausages, bangers and mash. And number 11, in Oliver Twist, what vegetable are orphan boys given twice a week as sustenance? That would be onions. Ooh, a nice bite of an onion when you're starving to death. <laughs> That's brutal. But uh, the answer there, and Oliver Twist is onions. And that is your quiz on British cuisine. Chris Arneson picked that topic. If you want to pick a topic like Chris, join the Patreon. $5 a month. You can pick a topic every single month as long as you're a subscriber. Patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Your fact of the day is in Japan, condemned prisoners are only informed of their execution date one or two hours before it happens. They uh, hit them by surprise, which may be better. So you don't have to think about it. Who knows? And your categories letter was D, things you store items in. I'm going to say a desk. Uh, electronic gadgets, how about a DS? A Nintendo DS for short, just get my DS, my dual screen system, which I love, still have mine. We have three of those actually. Um, me, my wife, and my mother-in-law from the early 2000s. And things you shout, how about dang? Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.